In this video, you'll learn about Beehive webhooks and how you can use them to set up automations in services like Make and Zapier. Webhooks basically act as a virtual notification from one application to another when triggered by a specific event. For example, if you get a new subscriber on Beehive, a Beehive webhook can help notify Slack of that new subscriber and automatically send out a message in your team's Slack channel. On the Beehive platform, we currently provide six different webhooks for different events, which include Post Sent, which triggers anytime a newsletter is published, Subscription created, which triggers when a new subscriber has just signed up. Subscription confirmed, which triggers when a new subscriber becomes active, meaning if you require readers to confirm their email first, this won't trigger until they do. If you don't require email confirmation, subscribers will be active right away. Subscription deleted, which triggers when a subscriber has unsubscribed. Subscription upgraded, which triggers when a subscriber has selected to upgrade their account, for example, from a free tier to a paid tier. And lastly, subscription downgraded, which triggers when a new subscriber has selected to downgrade their account, for example, from a paid tier to a free tier. So now I'm going to show you how to create an automation with one of the webhooks that I just mentioned. And today we're going to use make.com. After creating a free make account, go over to scenarios and go to the top right and click create a new scenario. First, we're going to create a trigger, which in this case is when a specific event happens inside Beehive. So go ahead and click the plus button and search for Beehive. And here you'll see some of the events that I previously mentioned, like watch for subscribers and watch for post sends. Here you can select any one of these options, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create that Slack notification that I previously mentioned. In this case, we'll be selecting watch for subscription confirmations, meaning this automation will trigger once a subscriber is active. From here, I'll prompt you to choose from an existing hook or add a new one. In this case, we're gonna add a new one. I'm gonna type in new subscribers right now. After you press save, you'll see that there's a link underneath your webhook name. Make sure to copy this to your clipboard and now go back to Beehive, go over to settings and integrations and you'll see webhooks. From here, click on new endpoint or press get started if you haven't created one before. Here you'll see an option to enter an endpoint URL. Now just paste in the URL that you copied earlier and enter a description like new subscriber to help you identify the webhook later. Now you'll see all six of the events. In this case, we'll be selecting subscription confirmed. Now you'll be asked to review the details. Once everything looks good, press save. Now it's time to create the second part of the automation, which is what happens after you get a new subscriber. Go back to make and simply click on the plus icon to add a new app. In this case, we'll be selecting Slack. And after that, click create a message as the action. After you click on it, you'll see additional options. And depending on which webhook event you're tracking, you'll see different information available to you. For example, if we go over to text, which is the message that will be sent in Slack, because we're tracking new subscribers, we can see information regarding the email, subscriber tier, and more. So if we were to select those two things under text, every time we get a new subscriber in Beehive, we will receive a Slack message that included the email address and subscription tier of that subscriber. Now fill out the rest of the options. It will be different depending on what type of automation you want to create, but make sure to fill out the required ones. So here we're going to select a channel for the message to be sent to. If you want to test if everything is running correctly before you publish this automation, go to the bottom left and click on the play icon to run your automation once. Now you can test if your webhook is working by testing this out yourself. So in this instance, I'll go back to my Beehive publication and enter an email. And after a little bit of time, I'll see the number one badge on top of the Beehive logo and Slack logo, signifying that there was one new subscriber and one message sent in Slack. Finally, to publish the automation, you want to click the save icon in the bottom left and then click on the on and off toggle to enable or disable it. That's it. If you're interested in more webhook tutorials, check the playlist below.